Hey, and welcome back to today's devotions. It's been a great week, hasn't it, so far? We've been looking at all sorts of aspects of the Refresh series. If you don't know me, my name's Adam. I'm part of the New to Faith team in Central Manchester. I really hope you're doing well. Wherever you're joining us from, whatever time you're joining us from, it could be that you're watching in 2024. It could be that you're watching in the future and you're in 2025. Great to see you all. We are actually almost at the end of our first month in 2024. The new year is no longer a new year. We're already well underway. We will be in February very, very soon. It's flying by, isn't it? Saying that, though, it's flying by in a good way. We've had a fantastic start to the year. It's been a superb 2024. And here at Audacious Church, we've seen Ellie Lime Bear. She came as a special guest. She came with teaching. We've had successful launches of the new marriage course. We've had Alpha kick off to record numbers, both online each Thursday and in person on Sunday evenings. Record numbers. There is growth. 2024 is exciting. And there is still more to come with the Knights of Fire right around the corner. This very week, in fact. So if you're watching this now, do get signed up at audaciouschurch.com forward slash fire. Something else that we as a church have been doing is working through a fantastic faith build series called Refresh. Yes, as mentioned earlier in the week, it's a little bit of a cliche, but let's see past that cliche and know the heart behind it. It's always important to remember the heart. There are some key areas that we need to focus on in terms of what we do when we start a new year rather than focusing on a cliche Let's get our heart in the right place and we will refresh. Pastor Darren, at the beginning of the week on Monday, talked about refreshing your faith. Myself and my wife, Jay Soon, have touched upon refreshing your fitness and refreshing your friendships. And today, we want to look at the concept of refreshing your family. Now, if you've missed any of the devotions from this week or prior and you want to catch up on them, we have all the content available at youtube.com forward slash audacious church. That's the same place where you can watch all the recent refreshed sermon content from pastors Paul Reed, Hannah Adkins, and the most recent one that we're going to focus on today from Pastor Glyn Barrett, whose birthday it was on Wednesday. Happy birthday, Glyn. We love the new year because it gives us the chance to reassess our core values and redirect our lives. There are always plenty of rewords. There are always plenty of re-somethings. Here at Audacious Church, the ones that we've focused on are restart, refocus, rethink, reset, and for this series, refresh. As part of this drive, we've been looking at the five F's, faith, family, finance, fitness, and friends. In today's devotion, let's remind ourselves what Pastor Glynn said about refreshing your family. And no, that does not mean taking your mum and dad out for a total makeover, although I'm sure that they would appreciate that if you offered. <laughs> let's just remember that family is the centre for social justice. You might never have thought about it like this, but a stable, healthy family is indeed at the heart of a strong society. It's within the family environment that the individual's physical, emotional and psychological development occurs. From our family, we should learn unconditional love, understand right from wrong and gain empathy, respect and self-regulation. These qualities enable us to engage positively at school, at work, and in society as a whole. In Psalms chapter 68, verses 5 and 6a, NLT version, it says, Father to the fatherless, defender of widows. This is God, whose dwelling is holy. God places the lonely in families. Amen. God's plan for restoration and blessing comes through family. We don't only have a physical family, though. We have a spiritual family around us, the people of God, 
the people of the church. We are family. And I am not going to sing the song because I'm not a good singer. But we are family. God wants everyone to be a part of the family. And he doesn't want anyone to be alone. So don't be alone. We are here. We are around. You can see us through the week on a Sunday. You can see us anytime. Just don't be alone. Get in touch. Stay together. Stay connected. We are better together. Now, family is what God does and what God wants. It's even stated directly in Acts chapter 2, verses 46 and 47, where it says, Every day they continue to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and they ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Amen. I mean, how great is that? Keep meeting together. Keep eating together. Keep being that Acts 2 style church. Break bread. Have sincere hearts. Pour out that love of Jesus onto one another. And the Lord will add to the number daily. Those being saved. And that's our goal, isn't it? That's what it should be. Bring glory to God. Bring sheep back into the fold. Praise the Lord more and more as people are being saved through Jesus. Family is what God does. He invites you. Yes, you. You right there, right now. He invites you into the family. And there is space at the table. Come on now, people. Come on now, friends. There is space at the table in Audacious Church. There is space at the table in your lives. Bring a new people to join your group coffee event after church. Invite someone round for a meal. Get people signed up to a small group. And hey, if you can't find a suitable small group for them, consider, consider this. Consider setting up one yourself. Let's be bold. Let's be brave. Let's step out in faith in 2024 and do something radical. <laughs> Christ supports us. We at Audacious are here to support you. And you can pay it forward that abundance of love that you've received by supporting others. And that's how we expand and push back the darkness, right? Saving lives one person at a time. Isn't that our motto? That's our kingdom mentality. That's our Jesus-centric mindset and heart position. And if you don't believe me, which, you know, that's fine, believe God's word. Because in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 9 to 12, NIV version, it says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they'll keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Amen. So today, I really would love to encourage you to take your seat at the table and be part of our growing family. I know it can be hard at first, but there are lots of people waiting to meet you and get to know you, the real you, like we talked about earlier in the week. Be vulnerable. Let people get to know the real you, and you will have some long-lasting, strongly forged friendships for life. For anyone out there that's feeling lonely, I pray that you would have the courage to reach out and contact us at hello at audaciouschurch.com. Drop us an email, hello at audaciouschurch.com, and join the family. Take care, friends. See you all again very soon. Bye for now.